Hey guys, good afternoon. Just here to tell you a little bit about something that I usually use to make a Moscow Mule. <clears throat> it's Gosling's Ginger Beer. It was actually invented for the Dark and Stormy, I believe. Gosling's has a rum, a really famous rum that's actually really delicious. So you can mix these, I think, to make the, if I'm not mistaken, the Dark and Stormy, you mix the ginger beer with rum, with dark rum, and then that makes the Dark and Stormy. You can mix it with like some kind of beer too, also to make it. So Gosling's has been around since 1806. This is the ginger beer. I think this is cute. It has like the little seal on it with the, the stormy little label tube around there. So it says ginger beer, the refreshing zip of ginger, and this is a 12 ounce can or 355 milliliter, but you can easily purchase this in a 12 pack as well. And I think some certain stores even sell it in like a 30 pack too. So let's flip over to the back. Nutrition facts. The serving size is one can or 355 milliliters. The amount per serving is 190 calories, zero grams of total fat, uh, sodium is 10 milligrams, carbs are 48 grams, sugars are 48 grams, and protein is zero grams. So it does look like there's a lot of sugar in here, but you don't need a whole lot of this can to make a drink. So what I uh, do with this is I use vodka, but, uh, specifically I'll use, you could use any type of vodka, but I prefer to use like a Tito's or Belvedere or Grey Goose or like, you know, a, a better vodka for this. And then I mix a little ginger beer and um, some either like the real lime, lime juice or a fresh squeezed lime juice works really well. So here it says not a significant source of other nutrients and percent daily values are based on a 2000 calorie diet. Do, they just came out with it, or I don't know if they just came out with it, but I just started seeing in stores that they have a diet Gosling's ginger beer. So if you guys can't have a lot of sugar, that is an option. And the Moscow Mule is delicious. I wouldn't recommend drinking this on its own because it's really too sweet, but definitely great for a mixed drink. So it contains carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, natural ginger beer, flavor, citric acid, gum S Acacia, ester gum, and it's a non-alcoholic soda. Five cent deposit. Let's see what it says on here. Created under authority of Polar Beverages, Worcester, Massachusetts, USA. Website is www.polarbear.com. A little hard to see there. Oh, and please recycle the can. It says on the side. So I'm going to pour a little bit so you guys can see like the color and stuff. Really easy to open by the way, it's just the pull top can. I'll just pour the rest out. So you can see it's carbonated, it gets all way at the top. The light, well definitely looks like the color of like ginger, um, it's like a light yellow off-white color almost. and then. I'm trying to think what else you could use it with because I always use it for the Moscow Mule or the Dark and Stormy. I'm sure there's other things that you could use this for as well. Plus ginger is supposed to be really good for you on top of all that. So like I said, you really only need a little bit, maybe half this to make. And that's like maybe like a little more than half a can, but I would say you just need a little bit to make the Moscow Mule. Maybe half of this. So this has been increasingly more popular. Of course, it's very easy to order online, but you might even see it in like some stores like Costco and like your local liquor store carrying the ginger beer because it's become such a staple. And if you go to restaurants, a lot of times they'll serve the Moscow Mule in a mule cup and it's like made of copper. It's like just the staple, so it's become really, really popular in oh, quite a few restaurants too. They'll have the Moscow Mule or the Dark and Stormy on the menu, and I personally feel like Gosling's Ginger Beer is the best, has the most flavor, and it's super mixable. So I really like it. It has a nice uh, zip to it. It's sweet, and 
it goes really good with the lime. I think some of like the tartness and sourness of the lime kind of offsets the sweetness. So they taste really good together in the Moscow Mule. So I hope you guys found the video useful and I hope you'll check out Gosling's uh, ginger beer. And like I said, if you can't have a lot of sugar, the diet one I believe is now on the market too. So it gives you some options. Thanks so much for watching guys.